and welcome to another tutorial. This is Nick and this will be my first tutorial about Sony Vegas Pro 10. Uh, I'm going to show you how to render in Sony Vegas in HD 720 pixels or 1080 pixels, it doesn't matter, with a pretty small file size. Um, now, the first thing you might notice when you're new to Sony Vegas and you open up Sony Vegas is uh, that this looks like a pretty hard program. Well, I'm going to tell you that it isn't it's pretty simple it's it's just the same like windows movie maker but you have to stick with it to learn it so stick with it learn it don't give up yet because you will be really happy once you know how to work with it um, to start out with a new project in HD for YouTube we can go to file new and you will see the the width is 720 by 480 now you can change this by just selecting it, deleting it, and we'll make it 1280. Sorry, 1280. Just zoom in here a bit. 1280 by 720. And you can save this by. I already saved it, as you can see. It it, it recognizes it as YouTube HD because I I already saved it. So if you want to save it, you just delete this and type something you want. YouTube HD two because no wait HD four tutorial and save it yes I want to save it anyway um, so if I do this again now file new I don't have to retype all these numbers I just have to click the little arrow here and select YouTube HD four tutorial and if you want to render it in 1080 you can also just go uh, 1920 by 1080 and you can also save that YouTube HD for tutorial 1080 and save it as well and then you can just sell every time you new if every time you make a new project you just click new and select what resolution you want to render it in uh, so I want YouTube for tutorial because I want 1280 by 720 press OK um let's just say I want to render my intro so let's just see file uh, open and uh, yeah this one there we go it's added to my timeline you can also just drag it from your uh, folders like if I go to my folder there we go I can just drag my outro to the timeline and we're done um as you can see here these this video has black lines around it like at the top and at the side you have black lines and you're going to ask me probably are you going to see these in YouTube yes you will you will clearly see them in YouTube um just imagine that this screen is your YouTube window and if you go to your timeline and you right click on your footage you can click switches maintain aspect ratio off just do this with everything you place in Sony Vegas it's really good and it will delete the black borders at the side but you can see that the black borders at the top and the bottom still are still there so just right click on your footage click video event pan crop and these will be toggled on these two buttons here these little buttons you can just put them off well I keep this one on size about center so um, now I can just drag this down to where I want it to be and now this is full size so as you can see I just place it so the black borders are gone and there we go I'm done um, now I'm sure this video will be full size now just to render it now most of the time when you render something in Sony Vegas um, you're just going to click file render as but what I do is I first save the file then close my Sony Vegas and open it up again and then cl click render because I had some program uh, problem sorry with this program that it just renders like from half the video until the end and it just skips the first five seconds or something so that's pretty annoying that's why I always close it first then open it up again and then render it so to render click file render as and I already have uh, a template 
that has HD settings in it. So just click uh, this little arrow and take Windows Media Video V11, WMV, WMV. Sorry. Um, so I have YouTube HD here because I already saved it, but mo normally it would s it would probably be on this one. So click custom and keep this window open. And I'm just going to cancel this. Uh, go to YouTube HD, and I'm going to tell you what settings you have to place in that custom window you have open right now. So, um, add audio. Click include audio. Make sure this is enabled. And mode CBR format Windows Media Audio 9.2 attributes uh, 64 kbps. Uh, 48 kilohertz or, or whatever this means just just take this one seriously <laughs> um, then with the video mode CBR format Windows Media Video 9 image size high definition unless you want to render it in 1080 you can also just take this custom and make it uh, 1920 by 1080 but then you have to make sure when you want to render something in 1080 you have to make sure that also your properties of your composition or your project are also 1080 so then you have to click file new and instead of making it 720 you have to make it 1080 as well or it won't work so I'm just going to take high definition again here zoom in again and just pixel aspect radio uh, one square uh, frame rate 29.970 uh, seconds per keyframe 5 just don't enable this video smoothness drag it up to 100 uh, bitrate disable any of these and enable internet slash LAN and make it 5 space M then go to index summary you don't have to change anything in this and in project make it video render quality best now um, so mine is already saved but I'm going to sh save it again because I want to show you how to do it um, I'm going to type YouTube HD 720 and just pre press this little button here and it saved it so now every time I want to render it I just select uh, Windows Media Video, Video V11 and just select my YouTube HD 720 and press OK. Well, press save. It's in Dutch again, but press save. And you're done. So that's how you can do it. And that's basically how I render my, my videos. And it's always full screen and full HD, so I like it. Uh, the file size is pretty small, so that's also good. It's not the smallest, but as I said before, you can go a lot smaller in file size, but it will also have less quality. So it remember it's HD it's pretty good so well that that's how I render stuff in Sony Vegas thanks for watching I hope this helped you and seriously stick with Sony Vegas because it's a really good program well stay tuned for my next tutorial and uh, see ya guys